What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Having a Beer Bands. It's a beautiful day outside today, and we're inside making beer videos because that's what we do. Um, but today we're having Hair Razor. It's a double IPA coming from Exhibit A Brewery out of uh, Framingham, Massachusetts. First time I ever had these guys. Uh, well, the first time I'm ever going to have these guys. Uh, never heard of this brewery before, so this is I always like finding new stuff. Picked this up at the Craft and Carry on uh, 7th, 20th, uh, 7th Ave and 20th Street. Um, yeah, I, I like to pick up singles because it's easier to do these videos that way instead of buying four packs or even six packs of beers. It's a, it's a lot cheaper. <laughs> but um, yeah, anytime I find I see something especially interesting can art, there was a rabbit on the backside. I'll show you right now. It's just a crazy ass art of a carrot, which is pretty dope. I like it. Um, plain black can, just white lettering. Awesome. It's a pretty, just a subtle it's literally a subtle label, but it's an eye catcher too. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, it's hard. Uh, it's hard making these videos when you're just trying to find signals. So as soon as I find a spot that actually sells single beers, I, I pretty much gravitate those to those spots uh, uh, all the time because it's just easier for me. And, and it's hard to find. There's not a lot of places that carry singles around this area. So it's always in New York or like I said, halftime is probably the best spot to get singles. Those dudes have the hugest selection of beer. Um, so. You know, enough of my jibber jabber. <laughs> let's, let's crack this home bitch open. I cut my nails today, so hard getting the can open. All right. It's got a nice pale color. It's a hazy pale color. Like I said, I like finding new stuff. If you guys have any recommendations, and I mean any recommendations, I drink all types of beer. Seriously, just leave in the, uh, leave a comment, shoot us a DM, let us know. Because um, I'm always looking for new things. I like trying new things all the time. Um, it's just to keep it interesting and also so I can keep making these videos. This just gives me a reason to drink beer. <laughs> it's not a good reason to drink beer, but it's a reason, okay? You know, you don't, you, <laughs> you don't need to turn your nose up at me. Well, cheers, you silly bastards. Smells good. Oh, it's not sweet, sweet, but it's... It doesn't, I'm going to try now, it doesn't taste like an IPA. And that's probably because maybe it's a hazy type of beer or it's a hazy IPA. Um, but it doesn't taste... IPA, like it doesn't taste like an IPA type beer. So anybody might enjoy this. This one's coming in, I believe it is 8%. Hang on a second. Yep, this one's coming in about 8%. So, I mean, like I said, it's not, it's a, it's a good, it's not subtle, but it's a good beer. Um, I really like it. Uh, but also, like I said, it's not too, it's not an IPA ish type beer. So if you're not into IPAs, you might enjoy this beer. Um, so yeah, give these guys a look, man. Uh, also, if you if anybody's watching these videos and they actually uh, have these guys on a regular, give us recommendations and other beers that they make that um, we can actually look, uh, you know, be on the lookout for to pick up. Because I actually do like these guys. These guys, uh, it's a real tasty brew. Hell yeah! All right, well, that's going to conclude this episode of Outer Beer Bams, and I just a little spittle came out of my mouth. <laughs> and as always, all beer is good beer. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>